for a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I've been wrapping my hair recently. If you follow me for a while, you know I absolutely hate sitting under the dryer. And recently I cut my pixie super, super short. Um, I'll link that video if you haven't checked it out. But as my hair grows longer, obviously I have to sit under the dryer longer for it to dry, which I don't want to do. So I've come up with a method that helps to cut down my dry time, but still gives me the same results on my wrap. So if you want to see how I've been wrapping my hair lately and cutting down on my dry time, then stay tuned. Okay, you want to start off with washed and conditioned hair. I towel dry it or you can wrap um, a t-shirt around it and just give it about 10 minutes. The next thing you want to do is section the hair off and you want to kind of comb it gently in the direction you're going to wrap it. Because it's not as wet, you're not going to have the value of the water to kind of help you work everything through. So now you're going to go in and add your foam and if you notice, I'm still keeping everything in the direction that I want the hair to ultimately dry. Whereas before, if you watch my videos, when I wrap my hair, I'm kind of haphazard and all over the place. With this, you want to be more precise. And as you see, every time I go down with the comb, I follow it up with my hand because the key to this damp wrap <laughs> is smoothing everything out. You want to make sure everything is smooth and perfectly flat before you put your strips on and before you sit under the dryer. Here I'm just going in and perfecting my edges and I have to work a little faster because again you don't have the water to help you and the foam is going to start to dry and when the foam dries it sets the hair. So you want to be quick um, and you see me again, every time I use that comb I go back over and smooth it out. But you want to be quick so that you can still get the benefit of a nice wrap without like screwing it up by having it dry too fast. Everything now is set how I want it. My hair is still wet. I have not been under the dryer and I just took my hands and smoothed the wrap down all over. So that's the wet mold. And here I just wanted to show you guys up close, like I still haven't been under the dryer, but as you can see, it is so smooth and it's already started to dry. Like the hair at this point is probably 70% dry, 65 to 70%. Now I'm from under the dryer, it only took about 25 to 30 minutes. I'm just going to take my comb, break my mold as you can see, and I would go ahead from this point on and style my hair as normal. But the wrap is great. I have body and movement in my hair. Great, great, great results. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as I stated earlier, this method seems to work best on flat styles that don't have a lot of curl or that you don't intend to um, style up a lot. So this is good for day to day or midweek. If you wanna get through the work week quickly, this works best for me when I use it that way. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. If you're not a subscriber and you like my content, please hit that subscribe button before you leave. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. And until next time, y'all, bye.